So I have a whole lot of polish here to show you. I don't need to be told. I know this is an insane amount of polish. But I bought it. So we're going to talk about it. <laughs> um, yeah, so today's video is my haul, my probably cumulative haul for the last... I say most of these are January, but no, because I picked up some at... Some of these are December. I think this is December and January kind of combined. Um, I was going to keep holding off because I do... I keep telling myself like I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep putting this off until I have all the nail polishes that I've purchased but then I realize that I just keep buying more and more polish and so this video is never gonna get done and then by the time I go to do it we're gonna have like 35 I mean you saw the thumbnail I mean this is this one is a, a ridiculous amount of nail polish so uh, I think this might be a long video I don't know if I'm gonna break this up into two videos but yeah cumulative uh, haul all indies from what I can gather here. Um, yeah, I know it's a lot and I, I just, I feel like I went down the rabbit hole of indie polish and now I just, I want all of the indie polishes. <sighs> yeah, so we're gonna talk about these polishes today. Um, so first up, let me, I bought some of these in, in, in like groups so I feel like I should kind of talk about them together um, and I don't really know what order I bought what in but I don't really think that matters so um, the ones that I will talk about in a group are the ones that I picked up from the polish pickup um, for December and why am I having such a hard time with this this one this one is that it is that it I feel like there was one more but I think I'm guessing that's it I feel like there was another one but it's not popping out at me, so it might pop up here eventually, and then I'll have to... Oh, wait, is it the... No, I have that. Okay, I think this is all of them. For some reason, I thought I ordered another one. Anyway, so these are the polishes I picked up for the Polish Pickup in December. If you don't know what the Polish Pickup is, it's basically um, kind of like a co-op um, collaborative of a whole bunch of indie sellers that get together once a month and sell limited edition polishes, polishes um, and they're all based on a certain theme. So for December, they were focused on gemstones and jewels, and that was kind of the theme of the... Um, of the the bizarre type thing that it was so I picked up then this was the first uh, that I've done the polish pickup so I was a little over eager so I bought five polishes um, most of which I feel like have been kind of we'll talk about it so anyway um, so the first polish that I will talk about um, is this the, this is the first one that when I got the when I got the package this is the first one that kind of called out to me and so this is the first one that I wanted to wear and so this is from ever after um, and this is called playing with fire I spoke about this in my last uh, monthly Manny or my last weekly Manny's video. Um, this is the first one that called out to me. It's inspired by the black opal, and so it's a very deep. Um, to me, it's a black jelly base, um, but it's got a crap ton of. Um, there's some flakies. There's some glitters. I think there's some shimmer in there. I mean, it's a whole lot of stuff jammed into this polish. So gorgeous in the bottle. Um, I've had a. As far as manicure goes with this, I felt like. Um, I didn't love it as much on the nail. It is a very thick formula, so it was a little hard to manipulate just because you had a whole bunch of stuff going on in the, um, with so much, you know, glitter and flakies. It was really hard to kind of put on the nail and to, you know, get a smooth kind of application. Um, and then I also, even with two coats of top coat, I just couldn't really get this to kind of shine off the nail. And I feel like with polishes like this, you want that glitter and that flaky to really shine and to look very um, like three-dimensional on the nail um, and it just I never got it to be that it was always a little matte looking to me even with two decent coats of top coat and I think even I, I wore this to work one day this week last week um, or week before last and I even put a third coat on one of my hands and it didn't even make a difference um, so yeah I want to kind of play with this and see if I can get it to work because I think the polish itself is really beautiful, but it does have some flaws as far as formula and um, kind of the finish that it, it gives. So I was a little disappointed in that, but I definitely want to try and make this work because I just think the the overall effect of the polish is just amazing. So that was Playing With Fire from Ever After. Um, next one I wore is Colors by LaRoe. This is called Rubies for JoJo. 
and obviously based off the name this is based on rubies um, I thought this was gonna be like a ruby pumps type polish it's basically a very dark red jelly base um, with mostly flakies in here um, flakies that are basically like red kind of coppery um, come on Sun why does the Sun always want to hit it right so right there um, but the so this was a dud for me um, Again, the formula on this was very thick, so I had trouble applying it to the nail um, evenly and smoothly. And then the uh, the base on this is so deep that you don't really see the underlying uh, layers of the beautiful flakies that are in here. So I feel like what you see in the bottle, you don't really see on the nail. Unless, I mean, it's been pretty dismal out the last few days, um, you know, last few weeks. So. It's possible in the sunlight you might be able to get a peek at some of the flakies that are in this, but um, overall, if you're indoors in most, like, you know, indoor lighting, I feel like the base on this is way too deep and you're just never going to see um, the flakies that are in here, at least to the effect that I feel like, you know, you want kind of like a jelly sandwich type effect on the nail and you just, you don't really get that. And again, same with the Ever After polish, I felt like I put three coats of top coat um, and I just never got the shine that I wanted. It always ended up kind of eating through the glitter or the, you know, the top coat ended up, the glitter ended up eating through the top coat. So it always ends up looking like kind of like semi matte on the nails, which I, I just it, didn't like this one at all. So that was Rubies for Jojo. And then this one has been a hit so far. Um, this is, I haven't worn the other two. I've swatched them, but I haven't worn them yet. Um, but this one so far is, is the leader of the pack for um, the polishes I picked up. And this is called the Alexand Alexandrite Effect. Um, and this is from, I want to say it's called Quixotic Polish. Uh, my first from them, and I believe Alexandrite is the... Um, gemstone that they base this off of and this is so pretty this reminds me a lot of the um cupcake polish i picked up um not too long ago the uh, all tied up it's but it's a little bit of a brighter pink um and it's got this really gorgeous um blue flash that um is super apparent on the nail and i just the finish on this is so amazing like and i'm wearing it on my nails now so you'll you should be able to kind of get a peek at that. I mean, you just get this really nice, um, kind of warm, like purpley pink, like ma like kind of an orchid-ish color, but, um, and then you just get that gorgeous flash on the nail. It's just so, 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 so pretty. Um, hadn't tried this polish brand before, but um, great formula on this. And again, like so, so apparent on the nail, that blue shimmer, which is what I love. Um, so I'll definitely be trying more from this from this brand, so this is an amazing polish. So again, that is the Alexandrite effect from Quixotic Polish, I wanna say. Um, and the other two that I haven't worn yet, um, but I did swatch for you is, um, this one's called Lemming, uh, excuse me, this is from Lemming Lacquer, and this is called Ghosts of the Vault. And again, this is my first from um, Lemming Lacquer. I don't remember offhand what the um, gemstone was that they based this off of, so I will um, annotate it here on the screen once um, I've had a chance to look it up. Um, and this is a jelly, it's a blurple jelly base. To me, it leans a little bit more blue than it does purple, but it's right in the middle. Um, and it's got some multi-chrome flakies in here that go from blue to purple, like a, um, like an aqua to a, an uh, aqua and a purple. And then it's also got this like gold flash that runs throughout. Um, so there you've got, you can see the flakies there. Um, they really pick up that teal color, but there is some blue in there, or there is some purple um, in there as well. And then there's a little bit of the flash. So really pretty. Um, I haven't worn this as a Manny as of yet, so I don't really, I'm gonna hold off on my opinions. Um, but the formula seemed to be pretty good when I did the swatch. Um, it's a little bit of a thinner um, jelly, so I don't know. I feel like I never got this fully opaque. I feel like this, I think I did three coats of this and it, um, you know, isn't never fully opaque, but it's such a deep, um, it's such a deep color that I feel like, and with all the stuff going on in here, I feel like you can probably get away with, um, you know, it looks fairly opaque on the nail. Um, and you don't, and if it's fully opaque, you're never gonna see all the stuff that's in there. So I feel like um, it's a decent enough formula 
I liked it so far. I'm gonna hold off what I think about it until I do a full manicure. Um, but I thought this was pretty. Again, that's Ghost of the Vault from Lemming Lacquer. And then the other one that I picked up is called Australian Fire Opal. And this is from, I wanna say it's Baby Girl Lacquer. And again, this is a new one for me. Um, and this is kind of like a hunter, like a metallic kind of hunter green, um, which you can see there. Um, this is also like a duochrome because I, when I, let's see here, maybe not a duochrome, but it does have a flash in it, which is what I love. Um, so yeah, this is a jelly um, kind of, uh, it looks like a turquoise base to me, um, but as you saw there a second ago, and I'll show you here again, um, it comes up on the nail, or it comes up in the bottle a little like hunter green um but this does appear to be a duochrome to me because it is pulling some um i am getting a little bit of some pink on the outer edges um and this does have also the multi-chrome flakies in here um and i do get some hints of like a like a purpley color so this um this is the one I haven't swatched as of yet, so I can't really give you any opinions at all on this as of yet. Um, but you'll see a swatch here on the screen. But this looks really, really pretty. And again, a first one that I've gotten from them. Um, so this looks really, really pretty. So I'm excited to try that one. So that again is Australian Fire Opal. And then I will talk about all of the polish colors that I've gotten recently. So I... I got to try polish and I've really been enjoying their polishes. So my first introduction to polish, I want to say is this one, which I picked up because Phoebe Moon talked about it in her, in her yearly favorites. Um, and this one is called St. Glinda. And St. Glinda is a kind of like taupey, dusty purple. Um, and it has a bunch of uh, flakies in here, which I believe are mm, duo, they're like chrome flakies, duo chrome flakies. Um, so they shift all around and then it's also got this really nice, um, holographic shimmer, um, that runs throughout. So let me get this to focus here. And this was so pretty. As soon as I, she popped a swatch of this on the, um, on her video, I just, I, I literally went to the website immediately. I paused her video, went to the website, bought it, and then came back and watched the rest of the video. Um, had to have this. I thought this was so pretty. And I, this was the first one that I tried from them. There's that shimmer. Um, so it's a little bit of like a pinky kind of gold shimmer. Um, but it's holographic and you get those like multi-chrome pieces that are in there. Um, kind of disco ball-y on the nail. Oh, so, so pretty. I'm so glad I picked that up because that definitely introduced me to the Polish brand. And I've, as you will see here in a minute, I kind of got a little obsessed and have bought a whole bunch of polishes from them. Great formula on this. Really, really pretty. And so once I had that, I went back and I think actually, you know what? I, I picked up St. Glinda, but then I think I also grabbed these two other ones while I was there. Did I grab this one too? I think I grabbed this one too. And then these were after purchases. Okay. So along with St. Glinda, I also picked up um, a couple I want to say these were from this one was from their recent uh, winter collection this is called two turtle doves and two turtle doves is a dusty um it's a weird color it's like a dusty I don't want to say this like grayish purple um and then it's also got a pink flash and some uh holographic uh micro shimmer in here don't know if you're gonna be able to pick up the micro shimmer because it's pretty faint and it's not super dense um and this uh flash that's in here um appears to be duochrome because as you can see here you're getting a like a light blue um but when i look at it in the bottle i'm getting like a hot pink which i'm assuming you're probably not gonna be able to get here because if it's duochrome uh yeah see i see I see like a hot, I see like a warm purple in the bottle here. Um, so I'm thinking this is probably like duochrome. So uh, that looks a little purple there. But yeah, so there's a nice flash that runs throughout this. I've only swatched this so far. I haven't gotten a chance to get off my face. Focus. Um, I haven't gotten a chance to wear this as a manicure yet, but I thought this was really pretty as a swatch. So I'm excited for that one. That is two turtle doves. 
I also picked up Hypnos, um, which I have worn as a manicure, and this is a just dusty kind of medium purple, and it's got this really pretty copper flash that runs throughout. I don't think there's anything else in here. No, I think it's just the copper flash. Um, really pretty. I The um, flash in here is not super apparent on the nail, so I was a little disappointed in this one, um, but the color on it's really pretty, um, and you can definitely see it in sunlight. You just i am not going to get a good... You're not going to get a good glimpse of that flash unless you're in uh, kind of like bright light or direct light. So that is Hypnos. And then the other one that I picked up in that kind of grouping um, is called Kawaii. And Kawaii is, it has a lot going on. This is a beautiful um, like turquoise that leans a little bit on the blue side. Um, and it's got that flash that you can see there. This really pretty like magenta flash. Um, that is apparent on the nail. You can definitely pick that up. And then it also has a bunch of um, holographic uh, micro shimmer in there as well, which I think you can kind of see there. So this one, this was probably my second favorite. Uh, this, this is giving St. Glinda a run for its money, but I, those are definitely my top two out of these, uh, out of this purchase. That flash there is so, so, so pretty. It just really bounces off that darker base and it's, really apparent on the nail, which I love. So that was Kawaii. And then once I got those, I realized I needed to pick up uh, a couple more from them. So this one I picked up, um, this one's called Equinox, and this is kind of like a rusty, uh, like a rusty red, and it's supposed to be a duochrome, because in the bottle I see that it shifts um, from this like rusty reddish brown to this like gold color um, and it also has very um, there's like a light dusting of holographic uh, micro shimmer in here um, and unfortunately the gold which you probably aren't gonna be able to see here on the in the video but um, and I couldn't really get a good swatch of the gold either but uh, this isn't as duochrome as I would like it to be you mostly just get this like deep um this deep kind of like rusty garnet red which is pretty don't get me wrong um and the shimmer in this is really or the um the scattered holographic in this is really nice but um yeah i just kind of wanted i've been wanting like a red to gold duochrome um and so i thought this was going to um you know fit that bill but not quite but it's definitely a pretty color so that one is equinox and then the last one that i've picked up recently um is called elder wand and I don't know how well this is going to photograph, but Elder Wand um, is a, it's a weird base. It's like this, it's this weird like brown base. Uh, it's like this like reddish brown base. Um, and then, but it's so brown that it, it's so dark that it kind of looks black on the nail. Um, and it's got this, it's basically almost like a foil kind of, um, but it's got this sh teal flash, which you can definitely see here, um, or teal shimmer, excuse me. Um, it's definitely, so you can see the teal shimmer there, but it also has hints um, as you spin the bottle, which you're not, I don't think I'm gonna be able to pick it up here. I got a glimpse of it when I did the swatch, but this has a, um, a, hot pink so it's a it's a shimmer in here that's kind of duochrome so it shifts from um a warm purple to this like teal um well, i don't know i see this is a shape shifter a lot so i see uh and what you mostly get on the nail and what you'll see in the swatch here is this like light teal color and that really bounces off that dark brown um base um but in the bottle you do also get hints of like this warm purple um this like warm pinky purple but then you also get there's also like some cool purple in here but you don't really see that on the nail um but yeah there's a whole bunch of the shimmer in here is really really pretty um unfortunately you only really get that the what you see in the bottle is a little deceiving i think all you really see is that teal that's right there which again is really pretty but then when you get this and and you see that there's so much else going on like the the purple um the you know the purple and the there, there is also hints of like gold here on the edges so the the duochrome shimmer that's in here i think is a little i it's it, it just leaves you wanting more because like i just th i thought this was really pretty on the nail um but just uh you as when you see it in the bottle you just realize like 
you wish it, you could get what's in the bottle, but you're never going to get what's in the bottle. All you really get is the teal. So I'm still on the fence about this one. I don't know. Um, I just, I feel like every time I see it in the bottle, I just wish like this is what I could see on the nail. Um, but it doesn't, it doesn't really come off as well on the nail, but it's still a pretty color. I just think that teal and brown combo is really nice. I just, ugh, I just really wish I could see what's in the bottle on my nail. Okay. So, and then let's see here. So then I also made a purchase um, from Painted Polish by Lexi. Uh, I had seen this pop up on Instagram a few times and I knew I had to grab it because it was calling my name. This is called Winter's Dawn. And this is a really pretty uh, kind of pale, like it's kind of a like a sky blue, but a little dustier. And it's got um, a whole bunch of glitter in here um let me look real quick uh there is some a whole bunch of different colors of blue i see some teal i see some like blurple i also see like regular blue um i also see uh some of it looks to be holographic there's a couple different sizes in here um i don't know how well it's gonna focus that's pretty decent right there um yeah, so there is a whole lot going on in here. This is really nice. Um, not my favorite Crelly mix. I found it to be um, not as easy to apply on the nail. I f I, you don't have to manipulate it by any means, but um, it's definitely not a KB Shimmer Crelly. Um, I did also have to put... I think I did have to do two coats of cop coat on this to kind of like make it really shine. Um, so I think this is pretty, I just don't know if it's my favorite curly mix, but I did, I do like the combination of the glitter and the pale blue on this. And this is my first kind of um, pastel curly that I've gotten. So all the other curly mixes I have are white. So this is my first, so that's really pretty. I like that, that's Winter's Dawn. And then the other one that I grabbed that is not really seasonally appropriate right now, but I saw it and I'm still keeping with the, still keeping with the, I have to buy every single mustard shade that I see. Um, and this one's called Stamped in Mustard. And this one is a little bit darker than all the other mustards I have. It's got a little bit more, um, I want to say brown in it. Um, and this is a, it says stamped in mustard. So I'm assuming that's probably, um, that this is probably going to be a good stamping polish. I think she had quite a few like stamped in colors on her, um, on her website. So I'm guessing these can also, um, be stampers, which is cool. Um, so yeah, grab that one. So like I said, I'm just trying to get all the mustards that I can get um, while they're available. So there's that. And so I purchased an A England quite a few months ago. Um, and I liked it, but I didn't really like the color on it. And so I had held off on getting any more A Englands. And then they released their new Tudoresque collection. And I was like, okay, I have to buy a few more. And so I got um, two from their Tudores collection, which are, I think, these two. So I picked up um, the Most Happy, which is just a cooler, um, kind of that uh, ultraviolet Pantone color for this year, um, with that same, like, beautiful shower of really finely milled uh, holographic shimmer that's uh, that England does. Um, so that is really, really pretty. So that is the most happy. And then the other one that I grabbed is called Catherine Parr, which is a um, kind of a cobalt blue with that same, uh, you know, that same multi uh, holographic shimmer that goes through there. Um, so that is those two. And so I grabbed those and then that put me on the hunt to grab some more A Englands. And so I watched a couple people's videos. I think Moon Baby Nails, and I think another one that I can't think of. I watched her video um, and got some inspiration on some other A Englands to pick up. So I picked up six more. Ooh, I'm sorry, they're so pretty. Um, so yeah, I picked up way too many A Englands, but I'm not going to be sorry because they're beautiful colors. Um, so the first one that I will talk about is the first one that I've, that I wore, um, or that I have worn. I don't think I've worn, oh, I've worn two of these so far as manicures, but this was the first one. So the first one I wore is Spirit of the Moors. So beautiful, beautiful, um, compared to Catherine Parr, uh, it's a little bit of a lighter, um, I feel like they're both kind of cobalt, but um, 
Spirit of the Moors, which is here to the left, um, is a little bit brighter than Catherine Parr. Catherine Parr is a little bit, um, just a tad bit darker. Um, do you need both of them? Uh, probably not. They're pretty close. Um, I would say the Catherine Parr is just slightly dustier and Spirit of the Moors is a little bit brighter. Um, so they don't look like that much different in the camera. So yeah, they're pretty close. So I don't know if you need both of these, but Spirit of the Moors, I haven't worn Catherine Parr yet as a manicure, but this one was amazing. Like it, considering the fact that I bought a whole bunch of, I think I bought like three or four purples. And when I got the order in, this was the first one I wanted to wear and it's a blue, I feel like says a lot about it. Um, so that one, I'm super, super pretty. And then let's see here. I also bought, so like I said, I bought a couple purples. Um, this is one of their more popular ones. This is Crown of Thistles. And again, they all have, I think all of these have that kind of micro, uh, that holographic shimmer that's in there. So I'm not going to, you know, dwell on that too much. Um, so this one is like a warmer purple. I also picked up Angel Grace, which is a little bit of a cooler purple. So I will show you those up against each other. And then I will also show you... This is the most happy again. So there's all your purples. So you got the two cooler ones to your right and your left. The most happy, which is on your left, is just slightly um, darker than Angel Grace, which is on your right. Um, and then you've got um, Crown of Thistles there in the middle, which is a little bit, um, which is definitely a little bit warmer. To me, this reminds me of uh, Zoya's Aurora. And this reminds me, um, uh, the most happy reminds me of Zoya's Finley. Um, so those are the purples. And then the other ones that I picked up, this one is the other one that I've worn as a manicure. This is called Prosser, Prosserpine, um, which is a beautiful teal. Oh, there we go. Beautiful teal color. Really love that one. And then the two um, other ones that I picked up are kind of similar. Um, one is called Dancing with Nuriev, um, which is like a silver with like a slight bit of uh, blue to it. And then the other one I have is called Waltz of the Flowers, which is kind of similar, another silver with like a slight bit of purple. So let me get the labels off here so you can kind of see those. All right, so you've got Dancing with Nurev here to the left and then uh, Waltz of the Flowers there to the right. So I'm really excited to wear those. I'm really excited to add those to my collection. If you haven't tried A England, I know they're a little pricey, but so, so, so worth it. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful polishes. Um, and then the other ones that I purchased recently, um, this one I purchased back in December, November. Um, this is my first from Moonshine Manny, and this was from her winter collection. Um, and this is called The Way More Fun Party. And this, um, I don't think this video is going to do this polish justice, but this is so pretty. So this is um, a blue, which you're going to laugh at me when I say that, but this is an actually a, um, it's a blue jelly base with um, this beautiful like warm purple flash. And then it's also got um, a whole bunch of uh, holographic um, micro glitter that is in here. Um, Oh gosh, it's so pretty on the nail. It's such a vibrant, vibrant purple shade. Oh god, I really enjoyed this polish. And it's just got so much holographic in there, like packed in. Oh god, it's so pretty. So pretty. I was pleasantly, um, I was really impressed with, uh, the formula on these. I don't know how I feel about the rounded brushes. Um, these have rounded brushes. A couple of the A Englands, I guess A England is now moving over to the rounded brushes, so I don't know how I feel about those just because I'm not used to rounded brushes, but um, the formula on this was impeccable. So I really enjoyed that. Can't wait to pick up more from Moonshine Manny. You know it's been a long video when your memory card dies. Sorry guys. <laughs> this I knew this was going to be a long one, so we are pressing on. So the last two that I'm going to talk about. Um, this one was, this one came recommended from Erin from Paint Those Piggies. I saw her talk about it first, and then I also saw Diana from Some Call Me Coco talk about it, and then once I heard her talk about it, I was like, alright, I have to buy this polish. And this is a little out of my comfort zone. It's a very kind of glitter balmy type uh, polish, but I actually really enjoyed it. So this is my first from Different Dimensions, and this is called Maleficent. 
And Maleficent is a clear base, but it's just got, it's like Mardi Gras in a bottle. It's got a crap ton of gold, green, purple, I'm mean not purple, a uh, blue, I think that's everything. Gold, green, blue, uh, yeah, there's a couple, there's like a little bit of flakies in there, um, but a majority is just like glitter. And so pretty on the nail like i said not a little bit out of my comfort zone i don't usually do these these crazy glitter bombs but this was actually not terribly crazy the the blue and the green um glitter that's in here definitely subdued the the gold a little bit so it wasn't too crazy powerful um and great formula on this with a clear base the fact that i mean I th i'm pretty sure probably two or three coats i think made this opaque so wonderful formula i was really impressed with this um I just don't wear a whole lot of glitter bombs. I don't know how many of these I'm going to add to my collection, but I was pleasantly impressed with uh, the formula, so I would love to try some more of uh, different dimensions. And then the last one that I'm going to talk about is my first from Emily Damali. Uh, picked this up on Live Love Polish not too long ago. This is called Land of Critique. And Land of Critique is a kind of like pale... Like a pale blue like pale bluish purple like silver color it's weird um it's like a silver but it's got this like pale kind of bluish purpley tinge to it um it does have a flash which you can see there it's very faint i haven't uh worn this as a manicure yet so i can't really give too many um you know can't give too much information about it other than just the swatch that you'll see here um but it's got a really pretty flash and then it also has um so the f it does have a it looks like a linear holographic as well as um some scattered holographic uh i want to say glitters in here um and the flash that's in here is just like a it's like a goldy purple it's kind of a, it's it's a weird shade um i feel like the the although i will say this happens a lot with live love polish i feel like the polish that i saw online when the swatch I saw is not necessarily what I, so I, I remember, I remember Live Love Polish sending me an email saying they had some stuff in and I saw this and I was like, oh, I have to have it. Um, can't remember exactly what the color was. I feel like this was more of like, I'll have to go back and look for the email. Um, but I feel like, and this is pretty, don't get me wrong, but I feel like the color that I saw in the email is not really, because when I opened up the package and I saw this, I was like, I don't remember this being what I saw, and I'm not disappointed by it by any means. I mean, it's a beautiful color, but for some reason, I, I feel like that happens a lot with Live Love Polish. Um, the lighting that they use, I just, I see pictures and I'm like, oh, that's really pretty, and then I look at reviews that people have left on the polish, or I'll get the polish in person, and then it just doesn't, it's never, like, the color's always a little weird. Um, so I don't always love that about Live Love Polish. I just, I feel like sometimes they're, um, their, their photos are a little deceiving sometimes. So, um, but yeah, I think this is pretty, I don't know if this is necessarily what, I mean, I don't know. I haven't yet to wear it, so I'm not gonna like complain about it as of yet, but I just don't think, this is definitely like not the polish I thought I was purchasing. Um, so we'll see how that goes. So that is, um, again, Land of Critique by Emily Damali. And that is it. I appreciate you guys sticking around. Sorry for this being a long one. Like I said, I keep, I kept, you know, compiling all these and I was like oh I'm gonna make a video I'm gonna make a video and then I just keep buying more polish and I kept putting the video off and off and so finally I had all of these polishes and I finally just said to myself I have to sit down and film this video so going forward I'm just going to you know when I'm ready to film a haul I'm just gonna film it I'm not gonna wait till everything comes in because I can always just film another haul video it's not a big deal you people like you people aren't gonna get mad at me for filming like two or three haul videos so I just need to like you know, sit down and film it. And then when more polishes come in, I'll make another video. It's not a big deal. Um, so yeah, I apologize for this being so long. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys got some ideas for indie polishes. Like I said, I've gone down the rabbit hole the last month, you know, last month or so. I've just been going crazy buying indie polishes. Um, I know a bunch of the mainstreams are going to be bringing out their spring collections here in the next couple weeks. So, um, I have made a purchase of the new, um, Zoya spring collection. So that will be, um, hopefully to me by the end of February. Um, and I did pick up some polishes in the polish pickup for February and I do have some other polishes coming to me. So <sighs> more polish on the way. Super excited about it. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, Aside from like a couple of those kind of, uh, you know, 
random indies that I didn't have too much luck with. I feel like for the most part I've had really good luck with most of my indies. Um, so yeah, what, uh, what indie brands have you guys been trying? I know there's a couple out there that I haven't tried yet um, that I'm really eager to try. So let me know some of your favorite indie brands. Who am I missing out on? I know there's, let's see here, I've, I have yet to try. I think I've got some tonic polishes coming in the mail. I still need to try Bee's Knees. Um, let's see who else. I'm trying to think. Um... I can't think of anybody else off the top of my head, but I know there's a couple other ones that I need to try. So if you have a favorite indie brand that I have yet to try, leave it in the down bar below and let me know because I would love to try them. I think Illyrian is another one that I have yet to try that I need to. Um, I also picked up, I've got Polish for Days. I've got a Polish for Days polish coming. I've got um, a blush lacquer coming. And I think there's one other one. Whatever is in the For Love for the love of polish box this month. Oh, I think it's another polish. So yeah, I've got a bunch of, as you can tell, I have a bunch of polishes coming. I probably need an intervention, but I'm just gonna keep buying polishes and you know, whatever. So <laughs> anyway, I'm not gonna make this video any longer by rambling. So I appreciate you guys, appreciate you guys so much for watching. I hope you're having a great one and I will talk to you next time. Bye.